My name is Rhea Hanks and I'm project manager in Boomer Rocket Team. We're here to walk you through the design, analysis, and manufacturing of our rocket and recovery system. Hi, I'm Tyler Watkins, Chief Engineer for Boomer Rocket Team. We started the design process for our system in a democratic manner, voting on our favorite ideas. We eventually narrowed it down to an air brake operated system that allows for great control and visualization of the target. Hi, uh, my name is Michael Voller. I'm the CAD team lead here for Boomer Rocket Team. So right now, as you can see, I'm finalizing uh, our latest assembly version of our board system, which is our payload delivery device. Um, a big part of the CAD team has been ensuring that us and analysis are constantly up to date with manufacturing on the latest iteration of whatever model we happen to be working with. So a big part of my responsibility has been working on things like engineering detailed design sets to ensure that all of the parts are the most up to date that they can be and any iterations that somebody like the design team or what we did with our latest prototype, for example, what I'm working on right now, are have everything incorporated into it that we want to see for when we build the next version. So a big part, like I said, working with analysis, working with manufacturing, and then of course, uh, building the parts for CAD. Oh, hi, I'm Scott Tesser, Aerodynamics Subteam Lead for Boomer Rocket Team. After we decided on our design, we utilized RockSim to size our rocket, motor, and aboard properly. FEA and CFD were done on SOLIDWORKS. Stability analysis was done with a combination of both CFD and ROCKSIM. The rocket was optimized for the ascent phase, weight, motor selection, and stabilization while taking into account weather data of Argonia, Kansas in March. The rocket values were confirmed to those obtained in ROCKSIM. <sighs> oh, hello again. The CFD for the rocket and the abort was performed using SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. For the rocket, we predicted it may be flying close to or over supersonic speed, which indicates the presence of wave drag. Therefore, we wanted to check the drag numbers with CFD to ensure it could reach its 8,000 feet apogee goal. For the abort, analysis was conducted at various velocities, angles of attack, and control surface deflections. The objective was to ensure that the abort could produce enough side force and drag to be able to reach the target once it was deployed from the rocket. Oh, hey guys, Scott here again. We employ a first-person view system for the aboard to relay a real-time visual display to our pilot on the ground. Along with that visual display, our pilot will utilize data from onboard sensors, telemetry information from an onboard telemetrum, and the visual target on the ground to control our glider upon descent. Hi, I'm Cash Balgi. During the design phase, we created mock-ups to verify the results from analysis to test the durability of our rocket. Now, we're going full force into production. Our rocket airframe will be made out of commercially available G12 fiberglass tubes and custom-made carbon fiber rocket fins. The aboard will be made out of carbon rods and nylon ripstock webbing in between the rods. The internal electronics will be secured to a Baltic birch sled in our avionics bay. We're excited to see you at the Argonia Cup. 